Today we're talking about all things MLS data in Deal Machine and what you need to know so that you cut your time in half while evaluating leads. But before we go on, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on all REI tips and Deal Machine updates. It's that time for our end of the month demo video and today we have a special announcement. If you haven't heard already, Deal Machine has access to MLS data. Yes, you heard right. MLS data is now available in Deal Machine for all Deal Machine members. So we're gonna go through where you can find all of this. So first on web, you're gonna see it on your map. So you see these little blue dots here. That means that I have MLS data here. You can see in the orange color here next to the owner occupied, you can see that it sold for 315. Point nine, and then you can scroll down and you can see the MLS info right here. Now we still have the county info that you can look at right here as well. What's awesome with this is you're not only gonna just have MLS data right here on the map, you can use it now in our comps tool. So go into comps, and if you want to use MLS data for comps instead of county records, you're going to go into filter, and you're going to go and click MLS, or county records. So I'm gonna use MLS. MLS is gonna give you a more accurate comp for when you are going to be giving an offer to a seller. So go here again, if you don't know already, go into the filters and you can change what you're looking for. We have year built bedrooms. You wanna find something that is going to be really comparable to the property that you are looking to put an offer in on. All right, we're gonna show this in mobile as well so that way you guys can see that it looks exactly like it does on web. Okay, so I'm at this same property, so 1906, so I can still go in here. I can go to my comps and it looks exactly the same as what I'm seeing here. Make sure that my filter is on MLS. Again, you can do the filters just like how you can do here on web. It looks the same on mobile. So let's continue while using our mobile and we'll just switch back and forth so you guys can see. So then I can go into my leads list and a couple of things here, right at the top, this next update is that you actually get to see the data updates. We give you a notification of what properties the data has been updated on. So you can go in and review and see all the updates that are happening here for all the properties. Then you can accept all updates, and then all of those properties will be updated with the data that we update now daily. That's right, daily. With this new data update, this is going to be able to tell you which properties maybe have a change of owner, maybe it's sold, anything that you need to know to better pivot your strategy on those properties. A strategy that I would recommend to all of you to do right now is if you have a list builder and or you can do this with highlights, but list builder, go in there, go to create filter, I would do MLS, and I would do market status, and I would choose, I would choose recently failed, recently failed, recently failed. Again, switching to that we can do this on web as well. I'm going to search by a certain zip code. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. Ooh, and it's pulling. Estimated 93 leads. So again, put in that zip code. You wanna look for those recently failed listings because you know that those sellers are motivated to sell. So those are hot leads for you to go ahead, skip trace, send mail, get them while they're hot. So now I'm gonna go build my list. All right, so the other option here is that I can actually look, if I'm driving for dollars, I'm gonna go back to mobile now. Seamless mobile to web experience, people. So let's say I'm out driving for dollars. So I just showed how to build a list with that. So if you don't have List Builder, which I definitely think you should look into if you don't. I'm now telling you then, while you're driving for dollars today, get ahead and go to your filters for highlights. Go to create highlight, type in the same thing we just did for list builder, market status. We're gonna do recently failed. Boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna do uh, recently failed. MLS, save, and then we're gonna apply that highlight. So then I can pull out 
and look at the recently failed in the area that I'm in right now. So I can go drive by those properties. I can see if someone's there. I can talk to them. This is also something you can set for your drivers too as a highlight for them to see. So I can go driving around that neighborhood. I can talk to some neighbors maybe about the house. I'm telling you guys, this MLS data is game changing. So go use it right now. Next thing you need to do is go check out this video right here for the three things that you need to know about deal machine comps so that way you give the seller an accurate offer every single time. And as always, happy deal finding.